Hello, my name is Veronica, and welcome to the Learning Lab, Episode 42, Holiday Place Cards. But what you're looking at right now is a layout that I did for CropChocolate.com, where I'm a chocolatier, and I used the Fancy Pants Halloween Paper Pack. Isn't this precious? Hop on over and maybe you can pick it up as one of their daily deals. We're in the lab today to take a look at how I put together these cute little place cards. What I want to share with you today is this cute little Halloween card I made using another paper pack that I picked up from CropChocolate.com and it's the Echo Park paper pack. So come on in to today's lab and let me show you how I got started. Okay, so can I tell you this is just the cutest card and the shape for it came together because I was trying to do um, a different take on a stepper card and it went something terribly wrong, but this is what it ended up being for me. I turned it into a little standing card, couldn't resist decorating the back with a Spellbinders cutout die. This entire card is made from a six by six piece of paper and the beauty of it is that it does fold flat for mailing and will fit right inside of your envelope. But if you're having a wonderful Halloween party and you want to use these as place cards, it would be excellent for that also. So let's get started. I started with this awesome paper pack, uh, Happy Halloween Kit Collection from Echo Park. And they're pretty new on the block, but I love how contemporary yet classic some of the designs are. And if you'll look across here, it just tells you all of the fabulous papers that you can get. Also some stickers and punch outs that come. Let me show the stickers to you. They are absolutely beautiful. They're a nice size to be used either on a scrapbook page or on a card as I did. And you get a wonderful set of alphabets to use in addition to some of these punch outs, which is what I used underneath the witch for my October 31st. So this kit has a lot in it. If you've not gone to cropchocolate.com, hop on over there and maybe you can catch this as one of their daily deal specials. I already cut my paper to size. It's six by six and this is from the Echo Park Happy Halloween spider webs and I'm going to place mine in with the spider webs going this way because once I make my full marks and cut my green is going to show on the outside and then my spider webs will be able to stand up on the inside. So I have a few score marks to make and I have a little cheat sheet that I made for myself probably means nothing to you but if you follow me through this you're going to be okay. So our paper is six by six and I'm going to make a score line at four and a quarter. I'm going to place my paper at the one inch mark and then I'm going to score it all the way across at the one eighth inch mark. Now my next score is going to be at three inches and I'm only going to come down one and a half inches on that. So I'm going to put this here and I'm going to score at three, but I'm only going to come one and a half inches. Then I'm going to go over here to this half inch mark and do the same thing. Now I need to turn my paper and I'm going to make those same two score marks except because I turned the paper, I'm going to mark at three and then three and a half. I only wanted to come down one and a half inches. I'm placing my ruler there at the one and a half inch mark. So I'm going to score at three and then I'm going to score at the half. Now the next part is removing this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from these two dashed lines down to my solid score and from these two lines down to my solid score and then I'm going to connect those two together. And now I'm just going to cut straight across there. Again, I do realize my paper is dark but I can see what to do and actually I don't even need my ruler. I can just go straight along the score line. And so now we have the makings of the beginning of our card. Now that I have my cuts made, the only thing I need to do is reinforce those score lines. And here's the one that was at four and a fourth. And then I have these two little ones that are at the halfway mark. 
and score those kind of lightly because once you fold it down to make the whole thing go together, you might need to, I don't know, smudge them around a bit if that's even a word. And then you have the final score line down here where you made that cut. That's it. So now that you've made all of your cuts and your scoring, you're ready to fold it. So this top part comes down and where you made the slit, that's like a valley fold. That's what's going to line up on the edges of your paper. And then you're going to be able to stand it up and you have this cute little card. Going back to my Echo Park paper because there are a lot of cute things that I can use from here. On here, I'm going to cut out um, this trick or treat and then I think I'm going to take the pumpkin from this one. Be right back. And so now there are my two pieces, my trick-or-treat and my jack-o'-lantern all cut out, but I'm not gonna leave it that way. I'm gonna take a, some of my Sakura pins, bling that out a little bit, and put a little glitter or something on my jack-o'-lantern. And there he is, all ballooned out with some dimension. Now let's get to that trick-or-treat card. And here I'm using the Jelly Roll uh, Smooth Dark Metallics. I might be able to pick that up, but I'm going to go back now with some that do have glitter and do some of the other banners. And then we're just going to trick out the trick or treat. Now, once you put this here and press it down and glue it into place, you'll see that when you fold this down, it might not quite measure up with where you made those score lines. That's okay. Just take your bone folder and press down the new ones. No one's going to notice it but you. So let's go ahead and get this part glued into place. Place two lines of glue there and I will. And I'm just going to glue that down into place. Okay. And there it is. I think this is a darling little card. Don't forget, you've got all this valuable real estate on the back that you can decorate, ink, put a name on it, a photo, you can punch your edges, whatever you want. The sky's the limit. This paper is so darling and cute. Thank you for joining me in the lab today as we took the... Echo Park Halloween collection and made these cute little darling either place setting or Halloween cards that you can send out to family and friends. Please remember to visit my blog inkillusions.blogspot.com where you'll find a lot more information, inspiration, and instructions on how to put together these two cute little darling cards. There is a larger version of this. Please uh, look for it to come your way. Until then.